Hi folks, hope everyone's doing well. Um, incredible weather we're having here as I'm making this. I'm looking out my window and it's in the mid 50s on January 30th, which um, from my perspective is great, but um, I know when I was younger, I didn't necessarily feel that way. So at any rate, let's, um, let's take a look at this project that I've made that in which I try to illustrate most of the important topics in chapters eight and nine in your textbook. So I've got a, a bunch of classes here. Um, uh, I've got a superclass boat. It has three subclasses, kayak, sailboat, and powerboat, and sailboat has its own subclass, windsurfer. Uh, boating is a class that just makes a bunch of objects of these guys um, and, and does some stuff with them. Okay, so let's take a look at boating. So uh, first thing to note here is that we've made four variables of type boat, right? So that's the static, these are all declared statically as being of type boat. Um, and as far as the compiler is concerned, they are references to boat objects. Um, but in the constructor, we're actually making uh, making those variables point to um, sub subclass objects. So um, boat one's dynamic object type is a windsurfer, and and boat two is a power boat, and three is kayak, etc. Okay, so the dynamic boat one's dynamic type is windsurfer. Static type is boat. Right? Clear on that? Should be. Now. We have a method here called go boating, right? I wish, but not for a while. Anyway, <clears throat> we're telling boat one to raise its sail. Now, what's the static type of boat one? Right, it's a boat. What's the dynamic type? Right, it's a windsurfer. So, what's actually going to happen here? What's the what's the well, first of all, the compiler is going to say, okay, this is a, the static type of boat one is boat, and I'm going to go check and make sure that the boat class has a raise sail method. And so let's take a look at that. And, uh, yep, sure enough, boat has a raise sail method. So that's cool. So um, if, we, if we compile this every the compiler's happy. Now, just for the heck of it, let's go um, take that and we will comment that out. And uh, so now, in effect, boat doesn't have a raise sail method. Let's check windsurfer. Windsurfer does have a raise sail method as well. Okay? So, um, Let's go and try to compile this. And it says, cannot find symbol method raise sale. Well, it can't find it where, right? It's certainly in Windsurfer, we just saw it, but it's not looking in Windsurfer. The compiler's not looking in Windsurfer, it's looking in the yeah, boat, right? And when it went to look in boat, it, didn't find a method call raise sale. So let's uncomment that. And now if we attempt to compile, it's all happy again. Okay, so you get that? So the compiler, if, if it, if it, uh, it's gonna look for methods for of the type, that it, the static type of the variables it has. And if it doesn't find them, it's gonna object. So the general rule is that, you know, you want, in, in the superclass, you want to have methods generally that you have in the subclass. If there's any possibility of you uh, using a superclass variable as the static type, right, which is not uncommon. So, um, so now let's, let's just go ahead and make an object of this type, of the boating type. 
And as we remember, it makes those four boat one through boat four objects, each one different type of bow. But for now, let's just do go boating, right? And it says, I, I, Captain Arg. <clears throat> we like pirates. So where'd that come from? Let's look at Windsurfer. Okay, let's, what happens here? So uh, we've, call, we've cause, called raise sail. That's what, um, that's what go boating does. It causes, causes race, calls raise sail. And uh, it knows it's a, it's a windsurfer object. So now uh, raise sail says super dot raise sail. Okay, it says basically, okay, go, go to your super class and, and run the raise sail method there. So the super class of windsurfer is sailboat. So, oh, hmm, there is no raise sail method here. Um, so what's that? What's it going to do? Well, uh, the JVM is going to say, okay, there's none here. What about sailboat superclass? I wonder if there's one there. So it will, in fact, skip right over sailboat. If sailboat did have a raise sail method, it would it would run that method, right? It wouldn't continue looking on up the the class hierarchy, but it doesn't. So it looks up the class hierarchy to boat, and it finds raise sail, and there it says, um, "I I Captain Arg." Now it also says um, completed message, and we just talked about what that does, right? It doesn't doesn't call, uh, it's from the context of the windsurf, a windsurfer object, so it doesn't, it goes back basically and says in windsurfer, is there a completed message? And there is, it says, I've raised the sail and I've got the boom in my hands. If you windsurf, you know that uh, the mast is held up by a, what's known as a wishbone boom, which you hold on to. Um, so that's where that comes from. If we go back to the, um, we need to see the, <laughs> where'd that go? Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so, I, I, Captain Arg. I've raised the sail and I've got the boot in my hands. That came from the windsurfer class. And now I'm off for a sailing adventure. Where did that come from? Hmm. So that is, it's in windsurfer and it's right here, right? So the super dot raise sail, that, that, Checked the, the super class, didn't find a raise sail, went one step further up to the boat up class, found a raise sail, uh, did the pirate thing, then called completed messages, complete mess, completed message, which brought it back to this completed message method of Windsurfer. I've raised the sail and got the boom in my hands. And now that finishes, and now it comes back and outputs system. Uh, I'm off for a sailing adventure. Raise sail just finishes up and that's that. Okay? Clear as a bell, I hope. Okay, now let's continue with dock all boats. So uh, if we look at the code for dock all boats, which is not there, but is here. Here's dock all boats. Right, we tell boat one, boat one object, uh, to run its dock here method. So, boat one is uh, it's dynamic, re dynamically referencing a windsurfer object. So it will call windsurfer's dock here method. Right, and each of these objects actually has. Uh, each of these four objects has their own doc here method. So uh, when I call, when I run this method, dock all boats from over here, 
it says the windsurfer runs its dock here method object, the powerboat object runs uh, its I can, I'm out of gas, it's a problem with powerboats. Kayak object says, I'll paddle right over. See, kayaks are great. And the sailboat says, uh, as soon as I get a little wind, right? So um, I hope that that illustrates some of the flexibility uh, that polymorphism gives you, that inheritance gives you, and also um, shows you some of the things you have to watch out for as you deal with inheritance and polymorphism. Okay, uh, any questions, please get in touch. Thanks.